WFM 91.7. Good morning and welcome to Political Arena on Women Radio 91.7. My name is Sumto Titilayo Ajama. Thank you very much for tuning in to Political Arena today. Political Arena is where we discuss politics in Nigeria. Today on Political Arena, we're discussing roadmap to 2023, supporting and electing female candidates in Nigerian politics. Supporting and electing female candidates in Nigerian politics. Recent data on the women's participation in the 2023 general elections shows that of the 1,100 senatorial candidates, only 8.4% 8 in the number of 92 specifically are women, and of the 3,114 House of Representatives candidates, only 9.2 in the number of 286 are women. You'd agree with me that of these large numbers, these little percentages are pretty small compared to the amount of women that could have made it to this list. Now, to add to this, the National Program, the National Program Officer, UN Women, Peace and Security, WPS, Ms. Olubukola Ademola Adelehe, has said that women have been left far behind in the political process of the country due to some issues that have been introduced into the political process, making it difficult for these women to participate actively. Well, I'm not in the political space, so to do more justice to that, I'll be speaking with my guest today, Honorable Oluwafumilayo Thelma, Labour Party House of Assembly candidate, if for one constituency. Hello, Fumilayo, good morning. Thank you for joining us today. Hello, good morning, good morning. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you very much once again. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, so you can join the conversation by calling the number 07000-917-917. 07000-917-917 is the number to call. You can also send in a text or a WhatsApp message to 0703-175-6537. 703 Now, uh, Fumilai, I'm just going to ask you this first. And um, before I say anything about questions, let me just say congratulations first on being the Labour Party House of Assembly candidate for if for one constituency in Ogun State. How do you feel? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I feel great and I feel happy in terms of um, being the candidate for Labour Party for if for one constituency. Being happy is that I'm going to come to come to deliver IFO. You understand? Mm. Because IFO is messed up. You, are, you get what I'm saying? Absolutely. So that's why I'm happy that I'm coming on board to save my constituency. All right. I'm really glad that you just said that because it really means that you hold this particular um, aspiration, this particular position, this achievement very dear to your heart. So if uh, one constituency has something good coming their way. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank I you very great. much again. Absolutely, absolutely. All right. So in your personal experience, you've been, you've been in politics for how long now? Wow. Um, I've been in politics for like, um, let me say, 20 years. Mm. And in that 20 years, let me ask you, did you have a lot of support getting ahead in Nigerian politics from when you started till now? Would yeah, you say you that know, you had a lot of support? joining politics, I did not join that I want to contest. Do oh, okay, okay. I actually joined for the betterment of our country or our state you get, okay, we're going to work for this person, for this person to 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 have his job done. Do you, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. I'm with you. So I, I'm a grassroots person. Mm. You, you understand what I'm saying? So that is it. I like the sound of that. So you started out not, you started out without having this big aspiration. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So, since uh, this has been your experience so far, you said you've you've received a good amount of support in the time that you've been in politics, right? Yeah. So, 
what are some ways that female politicians can be supported like you, but this time by their political parties, to give them that level playing field to be able to thrive in politics and do well in politics? Thank you for that question. I really like, love that question. Let me not use like. You know, if the political parties can make the fund free for women, it will be better. And um, if they can support them financially, you, you understand what I'm saying? Of course. There are posters. Like, let me use myself for an instance. My own constituency is for one. Mm -hmm. My local government chairman made it so easy for me. Those people spent their money because they believe in my capacity. Mm. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Mm -hmm. They believe that, oh, we know Formula Yo. Even she, she's not a, a, she's not in the post or in the house. We've seen what she have done. You understand? Even mm -hmm. in my own area, when I was living in Magburu, I know what I've done to Magburu. Bringing politicians to come and do boho, to come and give them transformer. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm. So that was why I told you I'm a grassroots person. And that's my local government chairman saw that in me. And he encouraged me, he said, For me, we know you are the one that can deliver Ifo. One. So that is it, my sister. Mm. All right. So for for political parties that do not necessarily show this kind of support for their candidates, what would yeah. you advise should be done better? Let me let me tell you this thing. There is no political party that does not support their female candidate because you see, who are the people that make parties to win election? Is the is the women? Mm. The men they don't, they don't do anything. You will see women going door to door canvassing. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So for them not using them, they know that when the woman when when the woman stepping or women stepping, they are going to. Why are them? You understand what I'm trying to tell mm -hmm. you? They know they those political parties know what to do. They just don't want to do it. All right. Thank you very much for that. We're still talking about this today. We're still talking about how we can support and elect and how supporting and electing female candidates in Nigerian politics. That's the subject of the of conversation today. Supporting and electing female candidates in Nigerian politics. The reason for this particular subject of discussion today is because it's not just support that's needed. We can't just keep supporting female candidates and they get to a certain point and after that certain point, it feels like they can't go any farther from that yeah. particular point. And that's why I'm asking for me that are there any, is there any, are there any things that, that can be done, any measures that can be put in place by political parties that will further encourage and make it easier for women for political candidates, female political candidates to have that level playing field, that enabling environment to be able to thrive. Are there any particular measures, maybe you can give me one or two, that you feel that if these measures are put in place by these political parties, it will help the female candidates to thrive better? Like, okay, I used to have, <clears throat> let me give you this stuff. I have a, a political godmother that has an NGO for female, um, female mm. in politics, where they can groom them. You know, I do tell people, we are not the leaders of tomorrow, we are the leaders of today. Mm, that's true. You get my point? Yes. Where they can groom them, because this woman groomed me, made me who I am today. Mm. Do you understand what I mean? So if we can have people like Fumi Lion in thousands, my sister, I bet you, you understand? Yes. We have a better today, not tomorrow. So if the parties can have like a political academy for um, female or women in politics, where they can groom them, I think it will fly and it will help the women. 
Mm, all right thank you so much that's a really good idea that's a really good idea and uh, thank you very much for that you're welcome it's 18 minutes to 12 on women radio 91.7 this is still political arena where we discuss politicking in nigeria and today we're talking about supporting and electing female candidates in nigerian politics and i'm speaking with honorable oluwa fumilayo selma labor party house of assembly candidate for e for one constituency supporting and electing female candidates in Nigerian politics. The number to call is 07000-917-917. 07000-917-917. You can also send in a text and WhatsApp message to 0703-175-6537. 0703-175-6537. Now, uh, Fumilaya, let's talk about this particular point. The fact that um, female candidates need support from the masses, from the people that would vote for them at the end of the day. Do you think coming from these masses, coming from the people that have voting power, do you think female candidates get enough support? Hmm. Um, I would say no. Do you know why I said no? No, please share. Because the parties, the earlier they start showcasing the female um, candidates, the better it will be for us out there. Hmm. A female, if you're a female, let me, you, are, you, are, you want to contest, and you have not really, you are not a grassroots person. My sister, there's no how people can accept you. There's no how. These grassroots people we are talking about, people that you, you eat together, you do things together, they are the ones that can sell you out. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell mm -hmm. you? Mm -hmm. But if, if you're just in a, if someone that you're that just coming and you say you are contesting, it will be hard for you to penetrate to the masses. Like I told you, why my own is somehow easy. You get my point now? Yes. I know my people, and my people know me. So that is it. Hmm. All like, right. when this um, opportunity came, should I shock you? Yes, please. The form was bought by... But the form that was given to me, it was people that bought it for me, that believed the masses, that believed in me. Oh, that's amazing. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you now? Mm -hmm. Yes. I understand so what you're saying. That's just the thing. Hmm. So if they believe in you well enough, they would you would see that support from them. Yeah, that is it. Hmm. So what are some things that people can do to get capable female politicians like you elected into these positions that they're running for? What are some things that people can do? And by people now, I mean the masses, we the masses. What, are, uh, what do you think are some things that we can do that when we believe in a candidate, what are some things that we can do to get them from just mouth of, of oh, we support you, we support you, to actually putting them in that position that they're running for? Yeah, it is for you. Even, like I said earlier, I said, when I, when I dashed into politics, I never... I, I did not want to come out to contest. I th you heard me when I said it earlier. Yes, you did. So the masses will see something. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Mm. Like, for instance, Mr. Peter will be, people are seeing something in him. You get my point. Mm. So the masses, people that you stay around, so that's why I normally tell people, in your own neighborhood, don't keep madness. Be a good person, be a good follower, because those people are the people that will sell you out, are the people that will talk about you good when the time comes. You understand? So if I've been a bad person in my area, you get what I mean? Mm -hmm. This opportunity wouldn't have come to me. Hmm. So you get my point? Yes. So in terms of this support come. now... In terms of this support, what is what do you think are some things that they can do? Do you think they should rally around rally around these people more? 
Do you think that they should create more room for publicity? What are some things yeah. that okay, they should let me do? Tell you what they have done. They have done. They went to the rural areas just for them to see the person they are campaigning to. They have done so many things. They have done hand bills. They have done posters. My sister, hmm. I can't count it. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Those are the people that believe in you, that believe in your dream. Even when you said they don't believe in yourself, they believe in you. Hmm. Thank you very much, from Lyo. You're welcome. And then still talking about supporting and electing female candidates. There, there are a lot of um, situations that have been going on in Nigeria from times past, and then oh, it, it feels yeah. as though um, female candidates or female politicians that have been in power for a while are the faces that we know. They're the faces that we know, they're the names that we know. And then it feels like when newer female candidates come on board, they do not have enough publicity, people don't know them. So at the end of the day, it's hard for you to say, oh, who is this person, who is this person, who is this person? And that's because they do not have enough presence. So where can female politicians that have been in politics for a long time come in to support this, to hold the hands of these new female candidates and get them elected, particularly if they know that this person can do the job. This person can do the job for this constituency. This person can be a governor in this state. This person can thrive in this particular position. So forgetting the fact that they're new, because sometimes people will look at it and say, ah, this person is new. We don't know the person. We don't know if they're capable. But if a female politician that has been in politics for a while knows that that person can do the job. Where can she come in? How can she support these incoming, um, these new candidates that have not been in, on the scene for as long as she has to get her elected, particularly because she knows that this person can work? Mm. Like I said earlier, all these things, I think I've answered them when I was talking. The what I think they should do, you know, I told you I have a political godmother. Mm. Mm? Yes, you said that. That platform, I am part of the platform. You get. They groom us. In that platform, she has more than 500 women. Hmm. You don't need to be a PDP person, APC, Labour Party. No, no matter your, your party. No. In that NGO, they support any women or any woman going mm -hmm. for any political this thing. They will bring the person out. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because they have groomed the person from the scratch. So they know what the person can deliver. So if we can have those people that are on duty, that are there, those women, can, can have something like this, this woman have, my sister, it will go a long way. It will, it will go viral. Do you get it? Hmm. It will help out. So that is the thing. Thank you so much. We're rounding on very soon, but I want to take your thoughts on this particular story. So this has been making the round recently, particularly because um, there's this entire situation with the um, APC governorship primaries in Adamawa State that were nullified after the, the governorship candidate Aisha Tubinani won over uh, her opposition, Nuhu Ribadu. So she scored 430 votes and Nuhu Ribadu scored 288 votes. But the judge, the judge ruled the, the APC governorship primaries he said the primaries was not in compliance with the 2022 Electoral Act and the party guide guidelines. And he also said there was manifest overvoting during the primaries. So basically he said the, that particular governorship primary was nullified. What are your thoughts on that? Mm. Particularly will... because this was a female governorship candidate. You see, it's high time for us to recognize women in Nigeria, not only in Nigeria, yeah, Nigeria in particular, because if you even look at outside Nigeria, like United States, you will see women being governor, 
you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. This, blah, 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 blah. Even, even in UK. But you see, this our country. I don't understand them. Mm -hmm. Do you get my point? I don't, I, can, I can't say, what have women done to them? You know, they, they, in, in that area you're talking about, they believe that women should be, uh, should be at home be cooking. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that is it. The earlier, the better. You get. And I will encourage the woman not to give up. You understand? Yes. Yeah. Because there is a better today, not tomorrow. Mm. Today. That's very so that true. that is it. Thank you so much. Uh, so yeah. finally, 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 uh, what are some things that you think that if these things are done in Nigerian politics, it will change, it will change the amount of women representation in politics and it will highlight more women in Nigerian politics for elective positions? Come again. What are two things that you think that if these two things are changed in Nigerian politics, it will highlight more women for elective positions, to be elected in political positions? If the political um, people, or let me say the government, eh, we kill that their motive, saying that women are meant to be in the kitchen to be cooking, forgotten that these same women went to school, went to secondary school, do this, went to university, have their master. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. That they are educated, that they have something upset. Eh? By the time they start appreciating that, my sister, it will help us a lot. Let them not see us as housewives. Mm. I think that is what they are using to look at us housewife or another thing is that when a woman woman stepping into this thing now they are they are too uh, they will be deciding no you know woman wahala now no 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 it's high time for them to see that when a woman step into this thing there will be a there will be a, a shift there will be a change yes you understand mm. and maybe what they are scared of they believe that when a woman when a woman comes in eh, that they are calling thing will not happen because you cannot tell me a woman that it is even the women that take care of this men said that is contested that are there president governor this one. So if a woman that not told you from when you were a baby, eh? Mm -hmm. I believe that woman can handle the country, can handle the state, can handle. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. So it's high time they kill that mentality. Thank you so much for me. So that is what I can say in this. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your wealth of knowledge with us today on Political Arena. Thank you for spending time with us today. Welcome. Welcome. Please Welcome. enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, you too. You too. Truth be told, political candidates in general require support to get elected. But female political party candidates or female political candidates require extra effort and extra support to get elected. And this is because, to a large extent, the political space in Nigeria specifically has been male-dominated for a really long period of time. And now that female uh, politicians are rising up and not just female politicians, but capable female politicians are rising up and be and vying for these political positions, you, there's there's an obvious discomfort, which sometimes reflects in the fact that there's not enough support and there's not enough um, there's not enough empowerment or enlightenment for the masses to vote these female candidates into power. So these are the things that need to be worked on, and uh, people obviously need to educate themselves on who these who these uh, female candidates are and vote them into power if they believe that they are capable. Thank you very much for tuning in to Political Arena today. My name is Sumto Titilayo Ajama. Thank you very much to my guest. And join us next Wednesday at 11.30 a.m. on Political Arena 
on Women Radio 91.7. Thank you very much to the to Elizabeth Akwerigbe for her support as well. My name again is Sumto Titulayo Ajama. Good morning. WFM 91.7.